Hello everybody, how are you doing? Tuesday night, I'm in the shop and just trying to finish up some stuff. I went ahead and put a finish on this blank. This is that hybrid blank from John Barnes uh, and the Mopani and red Illumilite. It looks really amazing. Uh, only problem is I can't find the pin kit I had laid out for it. I think I ended up bringing it over here and dropping it in this pile of kits. <laughs> so I got to go back and watch the beginning of the video and see which pin kit I said I was going to put it on. So, because there will be a video on that one. It was really cool. Uh, and there was a big mess up too with that one where I screwed uh, one of the pins up, or one of the blanks up, the one with the orange paint in it. Man, it just came apart like crazy. Exploded on the lathe. So I've put the half that's good in my box back there. And I plan to, one of these days, whenever I get a little bit of time, probably after the, uh, after the uh, craft show, I'm going to start casting and I, I'm going to make junk blank blanks instead of junk wood blanks. So <laughs> we're going to cast them up and see what we can do with them. But I've also been working. I got another pin. That one's ready to be pressed into a kit. And I've got this one that I just finished sanding and I just cleaned with denatured alcohol. And I'm getting ready to put a finish on it. So really excited about that. It turned out really nice. Beyond that, um, while when I get my finish on that one, the five coats of thin go real quick. When I put the medium, I'm going to turn my attention to this cart of blanks, and I'm going to start taking the corners off of these blanks. Now, let me show you what I got to do that with. Ron Rosilio sent me this jig, and this thing is awesome. You basically, let me show you the side of it. You got your main board here that you clamp to the table of your bandsaw. There's a little board on the top that has a 45 on it. You take a piece of aluminum angle that you get at the big box store. You do want to recess your screws. You cut out a little square. You set this on your bandsaw and your blade runs right down through this little gap. Clamp it down so it's nice and square. You run your blank along this track and it cuts the corners off of your blank. It works amazing. And that's what I'm going to do. While my glue dries, I'm going to head over to my bandsaw here, and I am going to cut the corners off all those blanks, which will make turning that much easier, uh, especially like the, uh, the uh, blank like I just turned with the colored pencils. And then I've got a, uh, I don't know what kind of material it is, shucks. I've got another one of these. It's the other half of a blank I turned for my daughter, and I'm going to turn it up. And I can't remember the type of material that is. It's real powdery. You know, it smells like talcum powder when you, when you sand it. So we're going to get all those cleaned up. And uh, that's about it for now. I'm going to let you guys go, get back to work, and I'll give you an update here in a little bit. Well, I'm making pretty good progress. Uh, I got this Monarch kit, and I put a colored pencil blank on it. And over on the lathe, you can hear the lathe running in the background. Um, I've got another colored pencil blank that I just applied the last coat of CA glue to. So I'm letting that last coat dry, air dry. I would have had one more. <laughs> the second one I did, I got down, I was pretty close to the bushings, and I thought, oh, I should stop and sand this. Then I said, no, I hate sanding. So I took my tool, I made one last really light pass, and when I got to the end, pop, she blew up. So that one made it into the, I couldn't find all the pieces or I'd have glued it back together. That one made it into the, the junk blank, blank casting uh, bucket back there. So I have a lot of stuff to cast. We'll, we'll see what happens. Um, I've got, uh, I figured out, I went in and rewatched the first part of the video. And I know that this is a Dennis Dower Mesa kit is the one that I was initially going to put that on. And um, I'm getting ready to press that together. And... I got all of my blanks. I got all the corners cut off of all the ones I wanted to cut the corners off of. I decided not to mess with these because um, the wood, it, it, it's kind of hard to explain, but it's difficult. I went straight down through, but the blanks are like, they're not perfectly square, <laughs> which is cool. They're going to look great uh, when they're turned because I, I followed the line and I went in at a line and I came out on a line. It's just that I went in at the bottom of the line and came out at the top. So. I don't know if that makes sense, but I'll show them to you when they get done. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and finish this one up, and then I'll show you all three of them, and that's probably going to wind it up for me tonight. Well, it's getting late, and I finished up the third pin and shut the lights off. I was getting ready to head out of the shop, and I thought, you know what? I promised to show the pins. I forgot to shut the video down. So let me show you the three pins I turned tonight. Here they are. I did two colored pencil pins, 
one in a Monarch, one in a Manhattan. And then this is that hybrid blank. Uh, it's uh, Red Illumilite and Mopani. And I did that in a Manhattan. I think they all turned out really nice. So that's pretty much it for me. I'm going to call it quits, head in the house, and uh, take it easy for the rest of the evening. Probably work on editing this video for you guys. And uh, thanks for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you again real soon.